morning. Mommy. Good morning. Hello. What is happening? Mom, what are we doing now? Hello. What are we doing today? Oh my goodness. Why do you always need to know what we're doing? What are we, what doing, are we doing? I don't know. We've got lots of things to do. We've got to get all your stuff ready for big school. Christmas pajamas. And dry cocoa pops. And dry cocoa pops. So why we live. That's why I'm like, as soon as I walk in the door. A million questions. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube. Thank you so much for all the love last week. It's so good to be back and I am actually feeling so much more like myself again and I'm feeling like, I don't know, just really like motivated to keep smashing out YouTube because it's something that really does make me happy. I'm trying to make sure this doesn't come undone. Um, but yes, so, so exciting. Yesterday I was actually on TV, which was, I was sh shitting myself, but it went really well, but I'll fill you guys in about that later. Um, but yes, I am actually, um, White Fox Boutique has actually sponsored today's video, which is really exciting. And they've sent me some really nice pieces. So I'm going to quickly do a try on haul for you guys. And then we have to go because Harper starts kindy next week. <sighs> I'm not ready for it. So we're going to go shopping and then I got to do some housework and then I'm just going to chill. So I might show you a bit of like my evening chill routine. Um, yeah, chat about how I went on TV yesterday and all that fun stuff. And I'm sure there'll be lots of Steph and Ryan banter today, as always. So yes, thank you, White Fox, for sponsoring today's video. So as you guys know, White Fox Boutique also stock White Fox Swim. So I've got one pair of swimmers and White Fox Active as well. And they also have Afterpay available for Australian, New Zealand and USA customers. And they do express shipping worldwide, which is awesome. So thank you again. Um, I'm going to kick this off and go through these with you guys. There's some really nice things from like casual pieces to some more dressy things as well. I will link all of the clothes I show you guys now below. And also if you use the code Steph Pace, you will get 15% off White Fox store-wide, excluding collaboration ranges. So yes, let's get started. All right, first outfit is this, and I am obsessed with these pants. They're so comfortable and the color is just so beautiful. So these are called Press Pause Pants in Camel. And I got a medium and then the top is called my wish for you and it's a halter neck um yeah really nice I love that one too I got that in a medium so yeah I feel like these pants especially would be super versatile you could wear them like out to dinner but you could also wear them for like more of a professional thing so like work and stuff and then yeah this top would just pretty much go with anything like jeans shorts anything like that but yes so that is the first one So next up we have more of like a lounging around cozy set. So the top is called Secret Romance and it's like this really like cozy, kind of like a fluffy material, it's really nice. So that's that one, I got that in a medium and then I got the We Are One shorts in a medium as well. So yeah, really cute to like lounge around the house. You could definitely wear this top too with jeans as well and dress that up. But yeah, it's a really soft, I don't know what material it is, but it's really nice. So that is that one. All right, so next we have the What's Your Plan Bustier, and I'm wearing that. I don't know if I said that right, guys. I say everything not correct, so I'm sorry. Um, and I got this in a medium. Love it. I really, really like it. I wasn't sure. I was like, am I too old for this type of thing? But I really love it. It's got the ties on, like, the straps. It's got tie at tie the front. And then it is kind of like that corset -y kind of thing happening here and then we have these shorts which are called hard to handle and they're a sage color but they are so ridiculously comfortable and I think they're my new favorite I absolutely love them they're not see-through they're like a cotton material really comfortable so yes that is these two and I got these in a small so yes now I probably like you could wear these two together but I feel like the top I wore last would go really nicely with these and these would go really nice with those pants so maybe just swap them around, but they're both, they, they, it still looks really nice, but yeah. All right, so next I'm gonna show you something very, very comfortable and very me. All right, guys, now this is comfort. This is me channeling teenage Steph. I love it. So this is the Watch Every Move long sleeve dress. This is ridiculously comfortable. It's like an acid wash, but yeah, I 
probably will live in this now. Got this in a small slash medium. Yeah, it's got some um, yellow on it. I think they have these in a few different colors. Yes, so cozy. Very teenage stuff like, you know when you used to wear all like the black rubber like bracelets at high school and stuff? That's Steph. <laughs> this is the Love Games top in medium and it's got like lots of cute ties. I don't know if you can see that. And then this is another pair of boyfriend jeans, which I'm now obsessed with. I used to, I don't know if you remember when I did a white fox haul a little while ago. It was the first time I tried them on and here's another one I love. So these are called the Duh boyfriend jeans or something. I'll put the name below. But yeah, really comfy. And I'm wearing a medium in both, but I think I'm gonna wear these jeans today. But I love this. I think I'll wear this for maybe like Valentine's Day, which is coming up. So I will quickly show you one more top and then we'll get into the vlog. Lucky last and my outfit for the day. This is called the Need It All Crop in Sage. And I got this in a small and it's a knit. It's so nice. And the back is like a crossover. So yes, this is gonna be my outfit for the day. I absolutely love this. So yeah, guys, I'll pop my discount code below. It's 15% off all White Fox Boutique, except for collabs. So yes, thank you again, White Fox, for sponsoring today's vlog. So yes, like I was saying, your girl was on TV yesterday. Um, I went on Studio 10 live, um, and I haven't done a TV segment in probably before the C word. So I was... Um, I was very nervous, like I was shitting bricks. <laughs> but it went really, really well. I'll pop the link below so you guys can watch it. I just basically spoke about like organization and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was really studio attempt because I went on their show live two years ago and they're just such nice people, which makes you feel a lot more at ease and they're heaps relaxed people, which is great. But it was funny because I had to wear like this earpiece and that's how they want Angie Bishop and that would talk to me. So that was kind of cool. But yeah, so I went through like my pantry, kids stuff, all that cool stuff. So that's what I did on TV yesterday. Uh, yeah, this is someone who I literally would make myself physically ill public speaking at school. I had no confidence. And um, I think it's really cool when you do say yes to things that they scare the shit out of you, but it's something that you are really passionate about. And I'm really passionate about helping people, especially in their homes. So when I first said yes to my first TV thing a couple years ago, I was so nervous for weeks and weeks, but it just proved to me that I can do hard things. And this can be anything. I remember when Harper was a baby and I had no mum friends and I forced myself to go, to mother's group and it literally it was probably just as scary as going on tv and i went and it just proved to me that i could do hard things so no matter what you know your hard thing is just sometimes it's just good to prove to yourself that you can do it and then when other things come up and if you're going through a hard time you can remember that and you're like i, I overcame that so i can overcome this i can't be bothered to hold the camera <laughs> so another thing my eye this is something that more and more people have been like commenting on and like sending me DMs about asking me have I hurt my eye or what's going on with my eye. And you guys have probably noticed more than anyone, but like on YouTube, but this eyelid, I thought it was my eye. I thought I had a lazy eye and I just, or I also assumed that it's cause I was tired, like chronic fatigue and it was making my eye like lazy. Anyway, I looked into it more cause it was starting to really make me insecure even in photos like you can see my eyelid is lower and then I figured like I found out that I've got eyelid ptosis so that's basically means my eyelid muscle is weak and there's like a surgery that can fix it and because it's starting to get worse especially at the end of the day it's quite low and it's actually starting to affect affect my vision one of the causes of it is prolonged contact use which I wear contacts every day I have for like 10 years and I wear them a lot too long. You're supposed to wear them only for like, I think it's like eight to something hours a day. And I wear, wear them from like 5 a.m. to like 9 p.m. at night. Yes, it looks like it's gonna be a surgery. And you know, some some people are like, why would you worry about that? But the thing is it's starting, to, it's getting worse. And I know as I get older, it will keep getting worse. So I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can tell. Um, this is me just looking and yeah, that's what my eye does. And that's another reason I kind of stopped getting lash extensions because it started making this eye more obvious that it was not the same as the other eye. So yes, I have eyelid ptosis. I'm honestly just relieved 
to know what what's going on because I didn't know what it was people were commenting and it was starting to kind of affect me a little bit so this sounds crazy but I'm like really excited to get my eyeball fixed <laughs> I'll literally stand there and be like open <sighs> so frustrating but you know first word problems of course but yeah when it especially at night time it does start to affect my eyesight I this eye I can't I can only really see half but yes, now you guys are probably going to be looking at my eye all the time. So I want to mention too, like if you have something like with me, I've got varicose veins, all that stuff. Everyone's got their things. So I'm not getting this fixed because I feel like I have to look a certain way or whatever. It's just because, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to make me happier. It's going to make my vision better because it's doing my head in. Um, but yeah, I don't ever want you guys to think that if you have some minor you know imperfection if that's what you want to call it that you have to get it fixed because it's definitely not the case this is purely like i know i need it done because it's going to continue to get worse over the last six months it's gotten a lot worse um and it's just going to keep yeah especially from the research i've done and the, the doctor i've spoken to it's better to get the surgery earlier on before it keeps getting worse and the surgery is going to be a bit more extensive but yes, so I'll let you know how I go with the eye doctor. But I do want you guys to know, like, embrace your imperfections 100%. But if it's really affecting you and it's something that that will make you happy and you're not doing it for other people, like, just to clarify, because I'm getting DMs and comments, like, and I don't get that many, but I do get them. But I'm not getting the surgery for them. I'm getting it for me. And that's the most important thing. So make sure you're doing whatever you're doing for the right reasons. Really hoping I don't forget anything that she needs for kindy. So yes, let's hope. I'm sure there's like a Facebook group of mums. So I might read up in there as well before we go. But I just, I cannot believe that she's going to big school. She's so ready. She's so smart. Like she's good at maths and writing and everything it's crazy yes. the girls made me put eyeshadow on them this morning didn't you yeah and then you know it has like purple it makes them look like it just comes out and looks like they got a black eye anyway what do you think about Harper going to kindy next week i know it's where's crazy. time gone we're gonna get her shoes and a reader what's a reader um a reader they have to like read a book <laughs> <laughs> you're very smart <laughs> maybe Maybe you should go to kindy with her. <laughs> they have to read one book and they graduate. They're done. Anyway, they have to get a pencil case for their books. So <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh, you're funny. Uh, <laughs> so it has to be like a big pencil case. And I'm, I'm Can we get one of those, you know, those big jumbo pencils? <laughs> They're like 60 centimetres. Anyway, I was that, at school, I was like super shy, hey, like super shy you i reckon you would have been really confident what were you like in primary school no, i think i was just quiet just yeah don't know thank you just yeah. don't know anything <laughs> <laughs> you just don't know were just, you quite, i was really shy i, I didn't get a read up put it that way <laughs> i um so <laughs> i've turned out like this they used to call me i used to get bullied a bit in primary school and they used to call me stephanie that was a good time. Mm. Love that. I was always the kid who I would not be playing like the ball sports and I'd always get hit in the head with the ball. <laughs> that was me. I feel like time just gets, oh, I need to get my watch. Now I bought Ryan a Garmin. He's always comparing. He's like, how many steps have you done? How many calories have you burnt? I always win though. Yeah, because you're a boy. You burn like double the amount. Yeah, but my steps are like double yours. <laughs> so you should be, no, you should be double. But I do harder workouts than you. I do what? Hard work Hard out. I don't even work out. We're week two now, aren't we? How much have you lost? Maybe three kilos. Thank you, it's probably just all. Mine's more. Water. I just want to. <laughs> mine's more. I just want to like feel really good. So how many steps have you done today? Two eight. Oh, okay. What have you done? <laughs> mine's not working. <laughs> no, what have you done? Two thousand. Ah. Uh -huh. You're so competitive with me. <laughs> I know. How many, how many wheat, you're good at everything. How many wheat bigs do you have in the morning? Oh, no. Daddy, um, can my bum with sodas? No. She really just wants to be picked up all the time, this one. <laughs> Alright, let's go.
from the shops. We were successful. We got shoes. Got these little snack things from Kmart because apparently at school they have like obviously they have like their morning tea. So you can like stack them together. So that's from Kmart. Um, got her this for her reader. Kmart again. And then Willow got a blood nose <laughs> in Kmart. So she literally had it all over her dress, went to buy a new dress, and then I just kept the tag, and then she wanted to pop it on. Poor darling. She's one of those kids that always gets a blood nose. I've only ever had one blood nose when I was pregnant. I never get them, but Ryan always gets them. I've got Harper's in school, hair stuff. I don't know if I, I didn't get anything for myself. And then, like, a shit ton of school socks. I, um... And I got some more socks for both the girls. I refuse to get any socks that are like got colors and stuff on them. I always make sure that, that they're all white because then you don't ever have to pair them up. It's life changing guys. Yeah, so I just got her like a pair of ASICS joggers for sport day and then the Mary Jane black like leather ones for during the week. I'm gonna get cleaning and do some washing, put some linen away. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out I'm in this comfy top dress, whatever it's called. I have to go for a run this afternoon because you guys remember, like, with the challenge that Ryan and I are doing, we're into week two. I have to run three times a week, so I'm gonna rest for a bit, then I'm gonna go for a run, and then I'm gonna do absolutely nothing, watch a movie with the kids. But I'm gonna wrap the vlog up now because I know it's probably gonna go for 20 years. That's my problem. I always, like, when I'm editing these vlogs, I have so much content I have to cut heaps out because I film too much. But yes, let me know like how long you like vlogs. Like, do you like them under 20 minutes or over 20 minutes? Yeah, let me know in the comments. I don't realize how much I use my hands. Skin update, you can't see because i got makeup on, but it's clearing up a little bit. I will keep you guys updated with that. I'm working with a naturopath, um, but yeah, I will keep you guys updated. But anyways, guys, thank you again for watching. I appreciate all your support. And please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye.